up, guys? Luna Wolf Max S here. I thought I would give my prediction on the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight and who I think is going to win. I think this fight could go down in four different ways, maybe three, but who knows? Um, I think that Conor McGregor is going to come out strong. This is the way I actually think the fight's going to go. I think for the first four rounds, Conor McGregor's going to look good. I guarantee you he is going to be talking trash. Guaranteed he's going to be on some Nick Diaz level trash talking with his hands up saying, like, why are you, why are you running? Guaranteed. I think he's going to try and get a couple shots in maybe, move away, talk more trash. I believe that in round five, six, seven, I think that Conor McGregor is going to start getting a little bit tired. Because I think he's going to slightly be on his... I don't I don't think he's going to come out like he did in the um, in any of his last fights, basically, where he comes out, meets the opponent head on. I don't think he's going to do that. I hope he doesn't. If he does, he's going to have a very long night. But I, I believe that Floyd Mayweather will TKO Conor McGregor in the seventh or eighth round. Because I think the first four, Conor's going to showboat. He's going to try and get in there and land a shot. They're going to be filling each other out. I think uh, Mayweather's going to be treating it the first couple of rounds like a sparring match where he's just kind of dancing around. And uh, I believe that uh, Mayweather will take Conor McGregor out, TKO him in the seventh or eighth round. Round five and six, Conor's going to start to show that he's, he's tired, that he shouldn't be there. He should not. I hate to say, I love watching Conor McGregor fight, man. He When he's wearing those four-ounce gloves, he can put... King Kong away, but they're going to be wearing larger gloves. It's going to be more of an endurance thing. I don't think he's going to be looking for that one-shot KO. Uh, I think that Mayweather is going to TKO him in the seventh or eighth round. I don't think Mayweather can knock Conor out, and I say this because Conor McGregor has been hit with the best shots from Eddie Alvarez, Nate Diaz. Now, he has been stunned by Nate Diaz, but if you took Nate Diaz and Floyd Mayweather and put them side by side. I know that knockout power a lot of times does not have to do with size, but if you took Nate Diaz and, and Floyd Mayweather and put them side by side, Nate Diaz would look like a giant. And Nate Diaz has teed off on Connor's head. Teed off on his head. And he was still not able to completely knock him out. He was able to knock him stupid, but not knock him out. That's the way I think the fight's going to go. I think Connor's going to look good first four rounds. I think round five and six, you're going to start seeing Connor kind of wither or at least become a little bit like, okay, we're in a boxing match and I shouldn't be here. Round seven and eight is, I think, when you're going to see Floyd kind of start having a lot of fun. I think he's going to start bouncing around the ring. I think he's going to slip a lot of Connor shots. I think he's going to land some shots of his own. And I think he's going to TKO Connor by either dropping him too many times or like wobbling him because a lot of referees will stop a fight if, if a fighter gets wobbled too many times they'll stop a fight I think you could possibly see that with uh, I, I actually think you're gonna see that with Mayweather gonna he, I think he's gonna wobble uh, McGregor too many times now you get a lot of hate like everybody I get a lot of hate I'm like I'll just come out and say I like seeing Conor McGregor fight. And then the internet will explode and instantly be like, you're a Conor McGregor nut. You know what I'm saying? Like, you are a nut. You're, you're on, like, conspiracy level, like, conspiracy theory level. You're a nut. You should be certified. Put Like, I don't understand that. It's like, hey, man, I just like seeing the guy fight. He's entertaining. I like seeing him. But I, I seriously do not. I have a big announcement. In, like, by the way, if Conor McGregor wins... I have a very big announcement that I'm going to make in a couple days. So subscribe to my channel and you will see that announcement coming up at least by the weekend. If Conor McGregor wins. So it's, it's kind of like a bet with me and you, uh, my people that watch me all the time, and the internet. It's kind of like a bet. Uh, <clears throat> now I said this could go like several different ways. I had a text earlier. I want to make sure it's not something crazy. And... Okay. All right. So, sorry about that. So, I said this could go several different ways. Boxing does not want Conor McGregor to be involved in boxing. You got to think about Conor McGregor has talked himself into the biggest payday, not only of his life, 
but every boxer who has ever lived life. So that that would make you mad. You'd be like, man, this guy that don't even box comes in, and now he's going to make the biggest payday ever. That would make you so mad. So boxing does not want Conor McGregor to go one round. They do not. You see all the rumors coming out with Conor McGregor getting knocked out and sparring. Conor McGregor scared. All those rumors are made up by boxing so far from what I've seen. They do not want him to even last one round. So if you're Floyd Mayweather, you are boxing. You really are. You're boxing. So if you're Floyd Mayweather, why are you going to do boxing a favor by going in there and doing your best, 100% best, to put Conor away? Maybe Floyd just... Maybe Floyd... I hate to say this, but maybe Floyd wants to see if he can take a shot from Conor McGregor. This is Conor's only hope to me. Maybe Floyd wants to see. Maybe Floyd wants to drop his hands, put his chin out there, and see if he can actually take a shot. Because everybody's talked about Conor's power is better than any power Floyd's ever seen. Plus, he's a southpaw and blah, blah, blah. Maybe in in Mayweather's uh, mind, he wants to see, can I take Conor McGregor's power shot? Because if he can, if he can take it, he shows all of boxing and he shows all of MMA that he is the legit best. That's, the, to me, the only way Connor's going to win is if Floyd's in that mindset. Like, okay, they told me I can't take his left hand. He tells me I can't take his left hand. Everybody says I can't take his left hand. Let's see if I can take his left hand. That's the only way Connor's going to win. If Connor gets in there, he's going to have to get in there fast. And he's going to have to hit Mayweather very hard. I think even if he did put Mayweather down, Mayweather would re- recover. Because you can you can recover in boxing. Whereas MMA, you know, you can't recover. Like, if you hit the ground, there's going to be a dude in your face putting his fist on your face as many times as you, as he can. till you go to sleep or the referee stops it. Okay, so that's the second way I think it might happen. The third way, which would be very good for McGregor, and it would also, you know, it would be good for Mayweather, if Mayweather goes in there and treats it like a sparring match versus an amateur. Now, if you're sparring with an amateur and you're not going hardcore on him, especially if you know you're better than him, especially if you're slipping his punches and and you even rock him a little bit with a a half, I want to say a curse word, but with a half punch, um... I, I think like that would be good for both of them. I don't think boxing wants to see Mayweather do that. I think if Mayweather goes in there like it's a sparring match where he can float around, stick a couple shots, slip shots for, for 10 or 12 rounds. I don't even know how long the fight's going. But uh, for like 10 or 12 rounds, if he can slip those shots and treat it like a sparring match, Mayweather will win the match. Mayweather has won so many matches on floating around and slipping shots and not hitting a guy with a power shot. That would be the third way. Like, legit, that's the way I want to see it. Only because I want to see Mayweather right off in the sunset with his 50-0 record because he is boxing's best in our lifetime. I want to see him right off into the sunset with his 50-0. And I also want to see McGregor go back to MMA. I want McGregor to get out of boxing after this. I want to see McGregor go back to MMA and tell them, I went 12 rounds with the best fighter on planet Earth. How do you think you're going to touch me? I want to see that hype. I want to see a, a, a Nate, a Nick Diaz. No, wait a minute. I got the names wrong. A Nate Diaz 3. I want to see the trilogy fight. I want to see uh, Conor McGregor versus Khabib. Even though I think Khabib could possibly beat him. I want to see that. I want to see him get in Khabib's head. Tell Khabib, I went 12 rounds with the greatest fighter on planet Earth. How do you think you can even step in the octagon with me? You know what I'm saying? This is the fight I would like to see. The 12-round boring fight. Now, a lot of people are going to be mad about this if this actually happens. The 12-round boring fight where Mayweather treats it like a sparring match. And then I can't remember the fourth. What was the fourth? I don't, I don't really... I don't really... I think the fourth was like a mixture of McGregor knocking Mayweather out like with May, Mayweather legit trying. And then also, like I said in the second... It, like prediction for the fight, if Mayweather actually wants to see if he can take a shot, I think like number three or number two and number four kind of mix with each other. This has gone way too long. This might have well been a podcast. 
I'm gonna get that double uh like the ad revenue thing. Not really. Nobody's gonna watch this except for my homeboys. Sup homeboys. But seriously, the way I think it's gonna end, I think McGregor's gonna come out strong. I think he's gonna talk trash. I think he's gonna look good. And then five, six round, I think he's gonna start fading. And then uh, seven, eight, I think Mayweather is gonna put the heat on him. This is the way I think it's gonna happen. Also, huge like. In my life, this might not be in y'all's life, but, like, I'm going to bet something in at least a week if McGregor wins. Now, this is going to be life-changing for me. Maybe not for y'all, but if McGregor wins, I'm going to put a bet out there that I'm going to do something if McGregor wins. I think this is going to make it fun. So, if you hung out this long, subscribe to me. You're going to get to see the uh, Conor McGregor Floyd, or you're going to get to hear the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight. It's a hundred dollars, so I know a lot of people are going to be tuning in for it. Uh, but if if you if you subscribe, you're going to see that fight night. You're going to you're going to see a crowd of people reacting to Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather with the sound in the background. And I have a lot of people that have already committed. They're like, man, I'm showing up. And I just mentioned it, like. I'm gonna be um, I'm gonna be watching the Conor McGregor Floyd Mayweather fight at my house, and they'd be like, "I'm in, I'll be there." And I'm like, "I don't even I don't even know you, who are you?" And they'd be like, "I'm there, give me your address." You know what I'm saying? So the house, I think it's gonna be packed. I really think it is. But I appreciate y'all watching. Subscribe, check me out, SoundCloud, Instagram, Twitter, and also check me out on the streets.